Are police officers heroes when they in the halls talk about or boasting about how many tickets they wrote so they can hopefully make overtime off the backs of the traveling public? Or how much money they might make in overtime by going to court on the arrest they made for victimless crimes? Is that heroic? How much am I truly helping society when I write a motorist a ticket for running a stop sign, speeding, no insurance? How much I, am I contributing to the positive growth of society? Am I really helping? And I'd like to say I am, but you know, I think I have a tendency to think too much. I think too broadly. When I think about, okay, I know some will argue that, oh, well, you know, that person won't, won't run the stop sign next time and they might not kill someone. Sure, that, that's possible, but I'm thinking, again, I think too much. I think too broadly. When I think about the bigger picture, picture like the FDA and USDA, their GMOs in our food and things like that, you know, saying GMOs are safe. You know how you know. I think that negatively affects the society so much more than you know this person Three running a stop sure. sign. Uh, you know, judges, lawyers, officers not acting in good faith, not honoring the Constitution. I think that negatively negatively affects society so much more. Are we a nation of rule of law? If we were, wouldn't Hillary Clinton be in jail by now? Eric Holder. George W. Bush, H.W., Bill Clinton, the, the things that they've done during their time in service and, and during their administration, I think has far more reaching negativity on society than this person running a stop sign. Or let's say 100 people running a stop sign. That only affects a small fraction of society. I think globally, I think nationally. So, do I think I'm helping society by writing tickets to people? Am I contributing to beach erosion by taking a hand full of sand off the beach? Sure, some people argue, well, yeah, well, what if a million people did that? Yeah, a million people aren't. I think too much. I should just follow orders, right? Save me a lot of headache. Am I acting heroically when I arrest a person because their license is suspended? And I've heard a hundred times, well, we can't, we can't have people driving without a license because there will be chaos. 99% uh, of the people I deal with, if I said a hundred times, have a license. So licensing does not prevent people from acting irrationally or inappropriately. That takes, that's a mental process. That is a education process not by ticketing and licensing people that destroys lives but who am I I'm just a beat cop I want to say what since 1812 that was the last military engagement here on U.S. soil with that the military was defending our rights and freedoms, if you will. But every other military engagement outside of the U.S. has not been, has not been a war for your rights, our individual rights here in the United States, our rights and freedoms. That's all been for money, banking, you know, military contracts. I know propaganda tells us to support the troops. Yes, I love the women, men and women of the military. I love the men and women of law enforcement. But as a whole, the propaganda machine has completely got us brainwashed to believe that if you question any actions that they do, that you're unpatriotic. No. The truth of the matter is the military and police are tools of control of the people. 
what's heroic about the military invading someone's sovereign land, killing those people in that land, not here in the U.S., but killing them in their land when they attempt to defy American aggression. We call them a terrorist when they're defending their land, their sovereign land that we've invaded. But we're heroes when we, we go there to you know, kill innocent people. And again, I hate to you know, ruffle feathers when, it come, when I say that, but I'm a veteran. I've said it. I was once lied to believing that I was going to defend America and our rights and liberties and all of the, the propaganda that they feed us. But at the end of the day, we are invading other people's country. We wouldn't be calling Russian soldiers heroes if they invaded America under the premise that they're here to save us from our corrupt government. No, we would want them out. We, they would be the invaders. But when the tables are turned, we're the heroes. It's propaganda BS. We need to start regaining true meaning of words. Hero, you know, we've beat the word terrorism down to now if you, uh, you know, workplace violence, that is considered terrorism. They want to have you arrested on terrorism charges. That is just normal violence. Not everything is terrorism. 